More work done on the bathroom. Got, uh, obviously got the tub in, uh, the Whirlpool tub, all the concrete or packer board around the tub. Uh, starting to look good. I can't wait to start tiling that. Of course, I've got to fix the floor. It's all on level. So here's two bags of $30 <laughs> concrete that you pour down to get the floor level. I mean, it was probably out of whack about, I don't know, uh, three quarters of an inch to that corner right there. And uh, it comes up to the wood right there is about even. So I had to tear out the sink finally. Uh, it was just a one single sink, this like 78 inches long. That's huge, stupid for that big of a an area there should be two sinks so I of course open up the wall put in plumbing for two sinks and that was a lot of fun um, since the right there the uh, vent pipe and the drain were right in the middle and I have to I had to put pecs in because I wanted it to be a little bit bendable so that I could get around that thickness um, just it's just a lot of it's an inch and a half but almost an inch and three quarters outside diameter on the pipe so it's just hard to fit in a wall so the pecs helped out a lot so here's the area where the sink was it's just about all I gotta do is put a piece of plywood up there fit it in there and be done with that um, and then later on I want to put Two more lights up there because it's gonna be a makeup area in the middle and then a sink and a sink on each end so um, need the light from above to, to kind of equal that out so that'll probably be next um, flooring uh, so I added two bags of this self-leveling stuff it's you know 30 something dollars a bag it's ridiculous because it's it's just leveling it out and then I've got to put concrete backer board and tile on top of that. So it's just, you know, $60 and, you know, basically thrown away. So there you have it. Uh, until next time.